Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. In my previous video, I said I was going to use Dominic Cruz because he has some special movements. I wanted to kind of show you guys how those work. So, let's do the first one and it's just, it would be L1 and a forward step. This can be used as a feint because he has this jab. See how he steps with that jab? I'm sure more can be done with this, but so you know, you throw that jab a little bit, and then you get your opponent thinking, and then off this step, you can you can throw a straight. Let's uh, show you a regular straight, regular straight, and then a darting straight. You can cover a little bit more distance, obviously. See from there, I can't I can't hit him, but if I do that forward step. Remember L1, a forward towards your opponent on the left stick. And then boom. See how it covers a little bit more distance. You can cover quite a bit of distance actually, but you can get your opponent thinking by using this movement because like I said, he has that jab, you know, and that's forward and square. He has the regular jab, so he has his own, you know, his own strikes like his own a few of his own signature strikes so I'm gonna try try to use that in this next match but also okay let's now let's get to the side steps so to do this next side step it'd be L1 again and then up or it'd be two Odomic Cruises right and off this you can throw a hook which will get a pretty good hit reaction so you want to throw the right hook. The way you're stepping, you want to throw. You want to throw his power hand, the right. So, let's do a normal hook. See how that little reaction. Now watch when I throw this hook. Like he kind of he kind of stumbles back a little bit. So, you know that's gonna be a good hook to throw. So. And then the next one is more of just uh, in, invade, but you can I'm pretty sure you can you can counter off it. So it's gonna be L1 and down, so but to your left. See that uh, that evade? I feel like this is good when you're probably about this kind of range and your opponent throws something you come back. You know, with a hook, like a check hook, or maybe even a straight, maybe even just like a simple jab, just to get your distance, kind of get you out of danger, kind of move your head out of the pocket. So yeah, those are cruises that I know of anyway. His three signature side steps. Let's just go over it again. I don't want to take too long on this, but it's L1 and forward for this little thing. And like I said, you can get your opponents thinking by, you know, throwing this jab out a couple of times and then, you know, all of a sudden, oops, I kind of messed up there, but you can get them with that darting straight. And this is for, you know, when you're in close, this next one, it's to your right, but it's actually L1 and up on the left stick. And then, well, I just did it. L1 and down. So, some pretty simple stuff. Well, not simple, but I'm going to go try some of this stuff out. I don't want to go too crazy with it. But, yeah, I think it's pretty cool that they added some of this stuff to some fighters. I know some other fighters have some unique techniques, I guess, or, you know, footwork. TJ Dillashaw I know has some. I'm going to try him next after. So yeah, let's go get a fight, guys. And I'll be right back with you. Alright, guys. I am back with you. And I just had the shittiest match ever. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I did lose it. But it was so laggy. The first two rounds were like a freeze frame. It finally came out of it. And it just... 
but it wasn't good, man. The first two rounds were like freeze frame. This guy was killing my legs. I mean, I'm not trying to make excuses, but I just didn't think you guys would want to see that kind of fight. So I'm going to get another one right here and hope it's a little bit better. I don't know why it was so bad, but it was ridiculous, man. Like, I mean, I'm not accusing anybody of lag switching, but it was just the lag was ridiculous, but... I want to let you guys know, I'm not trying to hide a loss. I did lose. So this is my second match with Cruz online. Nobody wants to touch up. I, I feel like they don't, they don't see the hand, I guess, so. This guy's being uber aggressive. Man, jab straightened me to death. There's an uppercut. Alright. Let's try to get some of this movement going. Good defense there. Uh, like I said, I don't want to go too crazy with it, but. Body kick. Man, this guy is right in my face. Damn. All right. I've got to be careful. Man, I can't use any of that movement if I'm, if I'm up against the cage and. Right there, land that step and jab. That's the kind of fight this guy wants, though, man. He wants to be right. I want to try to do that step and hook. Let me see if I can. If I can. If I can step to my right. No. He's trying to break my block. They work this guy's body. He's gonna wear himself out. Man, this dude's just. There we go. Get out of the pocket. All right, this guy's finally starting to slow down a bit. Oh, head kick. Damn. I gotta watch out for Cody's power, but this guy is not gonna have anything left. This guy's doing what I do sometimes. He's trying to finish, man. He's trying to finish early. And you could finish early, but you gotta find the openings. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not really using any of those movements that I just showed but it's easier said than done I use that as a slip that uh L1 and forward I'm trying to do that hook let's see I find the opportunity here I slipped outside that dude this guy is going to be a sitting duck Next round. Final seconds of round one. Guys, if you are bad at management of your stamina, try to get better at it. I know it's hard. I I still struggle with it, but in this game, it is way more deadly than it was in UFC 2. They made it that way for this game, so... I'm not saying you, you you still can't win, but you have a better chance and you'll have more fun if you can manage your stamina a little bit better. This guy is being he's being too aggressive. But this guy got his stamina bag. I guess he has some in reserves. We are in uh, a bantam weight, so. And Cody's a former champion, so. We're gonna find the opportunity. I might do that. That right step hook. Or at least try it. I'm trying to go up the middle because he's throwing a lot of J 
jab straight, so if I can go up the middle just like that with the uppercut, I can catch him. Oh, that straight right there. You guys see that? I love that. That dart and straight, man. It's... Oh, that was a hook. See how it stunned him? Oh, again. That rocked him. I'm just trying to pick my shots a little bit better. Cruises might be my guy. Oh, Hook City, baby. Hook City. I feel like... I feel like I really want to finish this guy. I want to get a finish for you guys. My first fight went to decision. This is my third fight. I don't want to get caught with anything. Man. That step and hook. That step to the right. Hook is deadly. If this guy goes through a third round, I feel like... His stamina is going to be way down. Trying to use it as a feint. Nice. That crew. We're moving like Dominic Cruz now, boys. Moving like Cruz. Oh, head kick. Head kick. Is it it? Oh. Man. See, that's what I mean. I don't want to get countered by something stupid and end up on my ass. That was a clean hook. Alright. So we're going to a third. Ooh, I landed that straight right on the buzzer. So we're going to a third. I really don't want to get a decision. I really want to finish this dude. That was a nasty kick. Nasty, nasty. He wasn't judging his distance very good there. He went for a body shot and I caught him with the head kick. But yeah, what I was trying to do at a few points in that round, I was trying to go up the middle with the uppercut because he was throwing a lot of jab straight. So I was kind of trying to interrupt his strikes. That jab. I love that jab, man. You can cover so much distance. Really missed with that right hand. If I can land that straight, I feel like nice shot. I feel like it would rock him. That uppercut is there. All right. He's trying to go to my body now, but it's a little too late for that. He. He just needs to hope for for a good punch. Oh, that hook! That stepping hook. Going for that head kick again. It didn't. I want him to whiff and oh. Maybe I can come back with the head kick. Oh. I didn't think that was going to end him, but what I was saying was I was going to wait for him to whiff on a shot and maybe come back with a head kick, but I figured I'd try it because his hands were down, and I thought I was a little far away, but no, I was right on. So there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I was getting it down, so you guys might be seeing some more crews. I don't know. 
Let me know if you guys do want to see it. Because this isn't like UFC 2. I feel a lot of people are going to try to find a fighter they like and really stick to it. And I hope to see a little bit of more variety, I guess. But that's me hoping. I don't know if, it, if that will happen or not. But I'm going to try a, a bunch of fighters like I always do in each UFC game I've ever played I always try you know pretty much all the fighters I like to try so you guys are gonna see a variety but man Cruz is uh, he's fun to use he's fun to use I'll probably be using him like I said more so and I hope you guys got got a little something out of the tutorial I know I'm not the best um, the best teacher so to speak but I'm just trying Maybe you guys will recommend this video to a friend, or at least the first four minutes of it, where it shows Dominic Cruz's all his movements or whatever. I get to see one that actually, you know, tells you what to press. I'm not sure if there's one out there. There probably is by now, but anyway, guys, I'm kind of making this long-winded, but if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. But most of all, just enjoy the game. And if you, anyone wants to play, I'm down to play. I'm down to learn. Also, any if I had a request or anything, man, just let me know and we'll get it done. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.